All right, let's try this again. Hey, everybody. Kind of out in the town a little bit. And, uh, of course, this is the one time that if you hear everything in the background, everything is suddenly going all wild and crazy. Um, uh, it was a lovely weather. It's kind of a bit damp and overcast. These things do happen. But uh, I'm still chilling out here for the moment. Decent enough time. Um, but So decided to go ahead and post a video or record a video. It's amazing because you always have these things, these witty things that you're like, I'm going to say this and this is going to be witty and everybody's going to love it. And they go, ha ha, Phil, it's great. Um, and then you actually turn the camera and you're like, a beat, a beat, a beat, that's all, folks. Yeah, that one wasn't so bad. Um, okay, so today's topic is regarding, once again, the Onion Kid. Onision. I really don't care much to talk about this guy. Again, there's so much that's been said about him already, but there's something that I, a point that I touched up on in a prior video, and it came down to him, now he's taking a test on, is he, is he a pedophile or is he a pedophile? Really, I mean, if we look at Onision and his freaking... His... Quizzes. Oh, I am not a, I am not X because I took a quiz and that quiz said... Sure, okay. And I am, and I am not this because this would be this. And so I'm going to pick this answer instead because I am not this. It's like Richard Nixon saying I am not a crook. Come on. The only people that believe this shit are the gullible 13 and under year olds that flocked to his channel. How anyone could believe that garbage is beyond me. Taking a quiz, I could take a quiz to figure out whether or not I'm the Goodyear blimp. It could be debated whether both of us are full of hot air, but all jokes aside, no matter how many quizzes I take, I am not going to be the Goodyear blimp. A quiz does not determine much of anything except, hey, I did a quiz, yay, whatever. It's like those people that, that you know, oh, take this quiz and find out what uh, Harry Potter thing you're in or whether or not you're going to be a millionaire or what you're going to die from. If you legitimately put confidence in that as actual, as fact, you were mentally unwell. And Onision, again, this is all a sideshow. He does this deliberately, one, for views, and two, uh, two for shock value, and three, um, to play to his fan base, to the emotionally reactive. See? See? He's not a pedophile because he took this quiz. And he'd done this before, him and his wife... Yeah, no, that's not a married couple, I'm sorry. Again, there is no real connection between them there. But, uh, all that aside... Whoop. Pardon me. <laughs> Hi, baby. Random person walking the dog. So much for picking a random spot that nobody really goes by, but you know these things do happen. Um, but needless to say, it's like, oh hey, look, I'm exonerated because I took a quiz. No, you're not. Now I do believe that there should be some actual charges filed. I do believe that if people know who these people, who these kids' parents are, uh, the next step should be to contact their parents and be like, you should know what your kid is doing. And then let them file charges. I think that's the only way that this stuff is going to get settled at this point. Because otherwise, all we're really doing is bitching about it on YouTube. And I, I like to bitch about things as much as the next person. It's all well and good and nice. Um, but really, um, at some point, talk is cheap and actions speak louder than words. And I think the best course of action at this point... Talking to Greg isn't going to do shit. He's going to keep doing the same stuff he's always done. And there is nothing at this point that we're going to do... Or even YouTube's going to do change it because they're making a lot of ad revenue off of him. 
so they're not really going to care. They've demonstrated this. Trying to appeal to any sense of humanity is pointless because he really doesn't have any. The guy has quite a few sociopathic, narcissistic, and even psychotic traits in it. Okay, the guy is, he's clearly not all there upstairs. And I'm not sure about the other folks in his household either, but that is what that is. Now, he's going to keep doing this until something gives him a reason to change. And the only time that anybody ever changes is when you give them a reason to change, when they have a reason to care. Greg's not going to care. The Onion is not going to care. He is not going to give a damn. Because he's going to look and point at his views and point at you, and then he's going to laugh. That's what people like that do. Because they have that arrogance, that ego, that they are just, the more they get away with it, the more it feeds that ego, and sooner or later they're going to up it a notch. So, today he's doing this, but I mean, even after that, what did he do? He started asking for more video, more and more uh, pictures over and over again, and then he did uh, try to guess whether or not they're underage, as if that was supposed to be some sort of excuse. He, he, he escalates it in baby steps, but I really don't want to see it escalate past what it's already what he's already doing, because somewhere along the way, someone is actually going to get hurt, and we're all going to be sitting around there going, "Oh my God, that's horrible!" You know, what could we do about this to prevent this? Well, the first thing we can do is, since we have enough people that apparently they, they can sleuth some of this stuff out, if you know who these these kids are, if you know who these who these kids are that were posting their, their photos and stuff, find out who their parents are. Take them aside and be like, look, you need to understand this creepy guy is turning around and doing not-so-nice things. And potentially putting your kid at risk. At the very least, putting pictures of them up on a forum that is widely public. You know, causing them distress, potentially causing them future problems, especially if an employer gets wind of that stuff later on down the line. Because they're not going to look at it as kids are being kids. They're going to look at it like, um, we don't know about that person. So this is stuff that could have potentially harm them in a lot of ways down the line. Maybe not right away, but nobody ever thinks of the long-term consequences. It's, I mean, if there's one thing you notice about this country, it's always about the short term. It's never about the long term. Nobody ever thinks, you know, years down the road. You know, these things do come back to haunt you. And, uh, but everybody just wants to put on the show. It's all a part of the show. It's all a part of the, the sham, but if, as long as it's allowed, it's going to continue. And it will keep on going. This guy will be in his 40s and 50s and still trying to pick up 13, 14, and 15 year olds. And really, ugh, it makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. it it's, this, 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 this stuff's got to stop. And the only way it's going to stop is if we start, is if the people that know who these guys are, who, the, who these folks are, these kids that are posting these pictures, it's time to have a word with their parents. And be like, so, this is what's going on with your kid. Are you really okay with that? Are you really ki okay with your kid being exploited like this? And there are going to be some parents that don't give a shit because we are growing up in a society now where parents take no responsibility whatsoever. They don't give a damn. They don't care and why should they? Because they got too much to deal with. They've got the, the next season of uh, Teen Mom on that they've got to catch. They ain't got time for that. These folks have real problems. But uh, there are others that are going to genuinely be concerned. That are genuinely going to be upset. And they are going to do something about it. In the form of filing lawsuits. And there is no way Greg's going to be able to recover his sorry ass when that happens. That's where you're going to have your real change. That is where you're going to see YouTube finally step in to cover their own ass. Then and only then. Random people passing by. Figures. Right when I tried to make a video.
but uh, yeah, the only that, that's the only way we're gonna change. You're gonna see change. Otherwise, it makes for a great video. Um, you know, oh hey, we have something to talk about. But the real question is, at what point do we stop talking and start doing? Actions speak louder than words. I've said this in other videos. And if we're going to hold movements accountable for not following through, then we should hold people accountable for knowing about something and not doing something about it. So um, I would be reaching out to, I, I would suggest those people that are more in the know or more capable of doing such things, um, if you are capable of finding out exactly who these people are that are sending these photos, I would recommend getting a hold of their parents. And I don't mean harassing them, I'll be like, look, as a concerned person, we found this, this is the person that is exploiting them, he's laughing about it all the way to the bank, this could cause your kid problems down the road. We really think you should do something about this. Or at the very least, pressure him to take those pictures off. Which, I don't recall them ever actually doing that. So if they're still keeping, if they know the photos are wrong and they're still keeping them around, which I don't know whether that is or isn't the case, that in itself is very uh, telling. Um, that's all I really got to say for the moment. I just wanted to make a quick video and address this. And uh, yeah, if there's anything else in my mind, I will talk to you all later. In the meanwhile, it's still somewhat of a nice day out, and I plan to enjoy it. So uh, I hope you all continue to have a wonderful 2017. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Yes, even if I don't like you, I still hope you have a wonderful day and that it only gets better and those people that day come to their senses. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so take care. Have an awesome one. If there is something you really would like me to discuss, um, leave it down in the comments. If you liked what you heard, well, leave a like and subscribe. I'm always happy to get more subscribers. And it lets me know that I'm going in the right direction as far as things to talk about. Um, but again, if you wanted some, if, if there was a topic that you'd like to see addressed, um, leave a comment. I'll be happy to address it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.